Hello everyone, Dylan here, and welcome back to another reaction. So today we'll be reacting to Bruce to our dog, Otis, by Bruce Drew Films. And then this came out yesterday, actually. I don't know. Do you... I'm always late on these, and I apologize. Um... So I guess that he got a new dog, I guess. I don't know. So thank enjoy the video. Thank you for watching so far. And I'm, I don't know what to say next. Um, yeah, enjoy the video. And yeah. All right. Now a lot of you. And also go subscribe to. Uh, I know this, but when I was a kid, I got attacked by my neighbor's gigantic Rottweiler. And it was a pretty traumatizing experience, I have to say. I mean, one minute you're sitting there watching Rush Hour on VHS, and the next minute you're getting manhandled by a 130-pound German Rottweiler. It's a memory that sticks with you throughout your life. You definitely don't forget it. But you see, my wife doesn't care about any of my past dog trauma, or the nightmares that I have, or my Vietnam flashbacks of Rottweilers in the trees. No, she said to hell with all that, and adopted our very own Rottweiler named Otis. And this is what Otis looks like. Or excuse me... This is what he used to look like a year ago. But now, he's big as hell. I mean, look at him. He's the size of a goddamn 7th grader. Jesus Christ. Now, I have to say there's a few drawbacks in having a dog that More size. like a little one, bit taller than a 7th grader. He's 110-pound ass thinks that he can just jump up in your lap still. Get your ass down! You're murdering my wife! Stop it! And for two, <laughs> it's hard to get your Amazon packages delivered because every delivery driver is intimidated by his big ass. Holy hell, look at the triceps on that dog. Oh, here you go! <laughs> I didn't sign up to hand deliver packages to fucking Cujo. Now you'd think that Otis would make a pretty good guard dog. But the truth is, Otis is a big ol' 110 pound wuss. I mean, the dog is afraid of limes, for Christ's sake. He hates them. He can't stand the sight of them. What kind of guard dog is afraid uh, of a look fucking at his face. Look at him running away from it like it's the goddamn Grim Reaper. I mean, sure, he likes to pretend to be tough, but he barks, it's kind of scary. But God forbid you bark back at him. Ah! Wow, how scary. So how am I supposed to believe that Otis is going to protect us? God forbid somebody breaks into our house. Hell, I'm sure they I, can just... I mean, is a one-year-old dog still like a puppy? I mean, he's just probably dogs, just playing. He just tap dances ass right outside the room. It wouldn't matter who was breaking into our house. It could be the devil himself holding a goddamn bloody sickle. And Otis would be like, hey, hey you, you want to pet me? I'm a dog. Uh, actually, I was here to murder your entire family. Oh, okay, come on in. I'll show you to their bedroom. <laughs> Oh my Otis's god. Otis' ass isn't gonna bite anybody. Hell, if anything, his ass is more of a threat than his teeth are. Because this dog farts like a fucking stepdad, I'll tell you what. We'd be sitting on the couch, and all of a sudden... What the hell is that? I don't know, why does it smell like a burnt Hot Pocket dipped in gasoline? Oh, oh my god damn it, it's the dog! Otis, would you please control that loose asshole of yours? Hell, he'd be a better guard dog if he used his ass as a weapon instead. I'll do it. I'll make the smelly stuff come out. I'll do it, I swear to God. Now, all of this would come to a head late one night when me and my wife were watching TV. And we were watching some show about people doing a mock break-in just to see if their dog would react and save them. Special report. Would your mean-ass Dalmatian jump in and save you when the shit hits the fan? Find out after these messages. I bet Otis would protect me because he's mama's baby. That's right, I'm mean. I'm a mean big bad boy. So naturally, we get the brilliant idea to try this little experiment ourselves. You know, see if Otis really has our back or not. So I'm outside the Sorry, dark with just... a ski mask on, ready to break into my own Sorry. house like an idiot. I have to say I'm a little nervous. I mean, there is still a chance that Otis was going to snap, and I get mauled by a Rottweiler for the second time in my life. Then oh. what am I going to do? Hell, I don't even have a fucking lime wedge to protect myself. So I burst into my living room and do my best murderer impersonation. Ah! I'm a murderer! I'm going to murder my wife! Or, I mean, this woman on the couch! And it takes Otis all but two and a half seconds to be like, Oh, to hell with this! I'm getting the hell out of here! And he bolts out of the fucking living room like the house is on fire, leaving my wife to certain Death. Okay, so when there's like literally like random people, well, my dog, my dog is a girl, so like when guys go up to her, she starts barking. Like she, she's basically just saying, "Hey, get away from my family!" And then if they uh, try and touch us, she would not protect us. She would only protect us by barking, saying, get out of here. When I try to, uh, like, hit my bro, like, my brothers do, start to, like, attack my brother, she, she bites me. 
up with the random pers person? I don't think so. I have a so. video what happened that night, but it happened so quick, I'm gonna have to play it in slow motion. So here we have Otis, the big bad mean Rottweiler, and here I am playing the robber slash murderer. Boom! Just like that. Otis leaps forward and he's looking mean as hell. Maybe there's hope for him yet. But then all of a sudden, boing! Nope. Not today. Bye. See you later. Have fun getting murdered. I'm getting the fuck out of here. And if that's not enough, the entire time Otis is running for his life, he's shitting on the carpet. <laughs> When everything's all said and done, there's an entire shit trail throughout the whole house. Oh my god, we literally scared the shit out of our dog. So now we feel like assholes because we didn't mean to traumatize the poor dog. I mean, hell, I thought I was going to be the nervous one in this whole situation. Had I known it was going to be this shit show fiasco, we would have never tried this thing in the first place. So clearly the conclusion to this little experiment is that Otis is not a guard dog. And even though he abandoned my wife and left her for dead, we got him an ice cream cone to say that we're sorry. The end. Brewstew.com Damn. I thought usually Rottweilers, their breed, like it also depends on how you train them, too. <laughs> well, my dog, she's a lit. I shouldn't really say this. She's ba she's basically what his dog is like. That just is like she acts like she's tough, and then uh, when the robber like breaks in, eye to eye eye contact, she runs away, or she like backs off. <laughs> I don't know. I shouldn't say this, but my dog's good for nothing. Like when it comes to like barking at at strangers, you know. I I I hope I, I'm not sounding mean, but do you guys get me? <laughs> uh, yeah. Anyways, go subscribe to Bruce Do Films, and I gotta get back on the grind with uploading reactions, probably every other day or whenever. Or a video comes out that's apparently popular. Um, oh, by the way, how do you like my setup? Face cam in the video on the side with the text. It looks pretty cool. It looks pretty cool. Um, yeah, th uh, thank you guys so much for 5,500 subscribers once again. And I hope you guys enjoy your night. And I will see you guys in the next video. Goodbye, everyone.